All right, so we have always been fascinated by beautiful cars, what we see in our video games. But what if you want to make it a reality? What if you want to drive one? What if you want to own one? In this video, I'm going to give you 10 reasons, my 10 reasons why I think it's a wrong decision, poor decision, at least in India, to buy or drive or own any kind of premium car or a supercar. For us, it's so expensive, man. Why the fuck? Why the hell it's so expensive in India? Where we do not have any proper roads, proper infrastructure. Why are you even paying double of what we pay in America or what we pay in Europe? I mean, for example, an Audi A4 costs like 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs in the US, we pay like 40 lakhs here in India. A BMW Z4 costs like 50 lakhs in US, it's like 90 lakhs in India. Man, why do we have to keep on paying double the amount what we pay in other countries where it has a lot of nice things to do? Why in India where there is no proper roads? Man, cost, bloody hell, it's so expensive. Second, the registration costs are so bloody high and it's even not stable for the whole country. This state has got like 10, the other state has got like 20, the other state has got like 30, the other state has got like 5. So it keeps on varying and registration costs are so high, so bloody high, it doesn't even justify. I mean, I don't know where this registration cost or the where these taxes are going. Maybe to the their pockets, I know, but we are basically wasting a lot of money on the registration costs of those cars. It's a lot. Third, the insurance costs are so bloody high. And I mean, in India, at least you know, none of those insurance companies or agents are legit. Most of them are scammers. Most of them are not going to give you the proper service when you actually need them, when you actually need a coverage done. So basically, Insurance, you are going to pay a lot of money and you are not going to get the proper service at least when it comes to any kind of claim. Fourth, the maintenance cost, it's so bloody high again in India for the service, spares, any kind of help you need from the showroom, any kind of service, they are way too expensive and most of the service is going to have a lot of hidden charges until unless you go through the complete bill of entry or the bill of details of the whole service job you are not going to get the details basically there's a lot of money involved in the maintenance lot of hidden costs again fifth the resale is super crap for example i bought my audi a4 on october 2014 for 42.5 lakhs and now if i want to sell it I'm getting course like 20, 22, I mean for 5 years a car you have to lose like 50% of the total value, not going to work, I mean I will just go ahead and give the car to someone but I'm not going to sell it for 50%, that's kind of joke, I mean no way, 50% loss, I mean resale is absolutely crap when it comes to India, at least in India you know because in other countries the resale is pretty nice, pretty good. People keep on driving the cars for one or two years, three years, five years, seven years. They even get like 70 or 80% easily. But here you do not even get like 50% even after two years. And after five years, you need to forget about it. Six, the spare parts are so expensive again. For example, a body cover going to cost like $100 in the US. It's going to cost like $300 here in India, like 3x main and for the spares for example you hit something you get into some kind of problem or get into some kind of issue you don't have insurance it's something which is not covered under the insurance you have to pay a lot of money it's a lot of money i know i cannot tell you with an example but it's a lot of money when it comes to spares from the us or the europe it's going to cost a lot seventh roadside assistance when you are driving a supercar or a premium car or a great car you need to have some kind of roadside assistance at least for your accidents because for the Indian roads which are really poor there might be some kind of situation when you are going to get into some kind of trouble when you need the roadside assistance but in India there is absolutely I guess no proper roadside assistance except for Harley Davidson except for BMW but again it has to be you have to wait a lot and it's mostly not going to work for 99% of time so roadside assistance not going to work at least in India eight many of the important features many of the important colors they are not going to come to indian market for many of the cars i mean for example for the z4 there was one blue color which i really like but that blue color doesn't come to india there was one frozen red which my wife liked but that color doesn't come to india i mean if we are paying like double the price of a car like 50 lakhs we are paying like 90 
and we do not get the color of our choice man that sucks yeah we do not get the options paying double that sucks ninth we have so beautiful roads in our country beautiful no comments about it it's just so beautiful so great roads you can do a lot of road trips amazing roads sarcasm 10th point then it comes to our fellow riders and drivers absolutely jokes 90 percent of people riding on our driving on our roads i call them assholes i mean lanes are a mere joke here you tell something you try to educate something to someone on the road they're like what the hell what the fuck i don't know when this thing is going to change but our riders and drivers i think something needs some change needs to happen at least for our roads at least for our drivers the licensing system needs to change people need to get educated you cannot keep on driving happily like a fuck you need to keep on driving on a lane i mean when the hell we are going to see proper lane based driving in india and if you are driving a good car premium car super car and you have got like people dancing all over the road and they hit like any part of your car damn you are going to get into a lot of trouble and you have to pay a lot of cash so those are just my 10 points i know there are going to be a lot of points again you guys can go ahead and add your points in the comment section below but if i start discussing about this thing i can easily have like 20 or 30 points but those are just 10 points which has been stopping me to get a good car for last many years but um, yeah i just had to I cannot explain right now more because I need to leave for office so yeah there will be more videos maybe I'm trying to do like maybe in a week two or three videos but we're gonna see how much time I'm going to get so that should be it for today if you have got any questions just let me know in the comment section below and let me know your rant in the comment section below as well so see you guys in the next week